what is up guys welcome back to the channel for all of you returning viewers and to all the new viewers thanks for clicking on that link summer is just about over in maine we're heading into fall i am on the golden road in northern maine i just went through one of my favorite towns in maine called millinocket and i have a special treat for you in store for this trip i am up here with one of my very best friends in the world Donnie Johnston. I've been friends with Donnie for pretty close to 30 years now, and he is just about as good a guy as you could ever meet. He's one of those type of guys that the second you meet him, you have become friends for life. He's very calm and cool and just as nice a guy as there is anywhere. Very quick to laugh, super, super helpful to everyone around him. We had planned this trip last year, but Donnie's mother is 102 or 103 years old, lives alone, and she started to have some problems last year right around the time we were supposed to go on this trip. So we had to cancel the trip and postpone it to this year. He's excited to be here this year. I'm excited to be here this year. So we're going to try to canoe the west branch of the Penobscot River. It is still open water fishing season in Maine. It's the beginning of bird season in Maine. So it's a cast and blast week for us. Donnie said, bring a metal detector too. We're gonna go looking for some old logging camps in this area and see if we can find any cool relics that are buried and long forgotten and see what we can find. The North Maine woods is one of my absolute favorite places on the entire planet. I used to come up here and just stay in the woods for three months at a time, sometimes longer and run a trap line, hunt every day except Sunday, which is still a law in Maine. The North Maine woods means a lot to me. I've been coming here for, geez, over maybe 20 years. Yeah, over 20 years. Donnie's been coming here for over 60 years. He was introduced to the North Maine woods by a fella in town that was older than him. And he's just has so many really cool memories and has seen it change quite a bit. And it's a really special place for Donnie as well. I know. Every year he really looks forward to coming up for bird season, deer season, or moose season. North Main Woods, super, super special place any time of year. I only get to enjoy it in the fall and the winter due to my business and, and my work style. If you ask me, that's the best time of year to be up here anyway. <laughs> Thanks again for clicking on the video guys and for tuning back in. I'm super pumped for this season out on the hard water and maybe even some other fall videos like this up in the North Main Woods. Stay tuned, I have no idea what this trip's gonna bring. I know we're gonna be doing some fishing, I know we're gonna be doing some hunting, and I think we're gonna be doing a little metal detecting. We're definitely gonna be doing some canoeing. That's all I can tell you. Thanks for tuning in. Beautiful. Jeez. So is this the river we're, we're gonna be on? This is the river. This, this, is, is, this is the low, well, below Ripogenus Dam. This uh, is used a lot for whitewater rafting now. But back when I came, there was no rafting here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> we used to fish. Well, we fished from here up. Up, uh, Al and I fished that. For salmon? Salmon, yeah. We caught a few on that strip. But it's pretty. I mean, oh, there's some real rough rapids yeah. up there. When I first set foot in this neck of the woods, <laughs> there wasn't any Golden Road. Really? There was no Golden Road. Oh, no kidding. When was the Golden Road built? In the 60s. Jeez. I came in 57. So what? For the first time. What'd they have? Just, just a straight? Well, we had to come in through Rockwood, 20 yeah. Mile Gate, and wow. by Sabumuk, and in that way. Wow. You know, oh, yeah. but I'm sure they were building, you know, at that time, they must have been yeah. roughing it out and, and building parts of it, I'm sure. But, no, it was a different world then. Yeah, Bobby whipped this up last night. Oh, she's supper. amazing. Every time I came with Al, he would always cook fried chicken the night before. And we'd have cold fried chicken on the ride up. Which was, it was really excellent. One thing about Al, 
He always wanted to come up here. I'd say he was my mentor when it came to Northern Maine. Did he introduce you to the North Maine woods? He sure did. That's awesome. Yeah, when I was a sophomore in high school. But when I got to be in high school, when my cousin started going with his daughter, that's how I really got to know him. And uh, he really indoctrinated me to the North Main Woods. I don't think I'd been above Bangor, much above Bangor, hmm. since that point in time. Huh. Uh, I was thankful for him doing that. And I think I have not, since 1957, I think I've not missed a year of not coming up here at least once nice. during the year. Well, that's pretty good. That's real good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your sandwich. All right, thank you. Meatloaf sandwich, that's perfect. Uh, she put uh, barbecue sauce on it, so. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. She's still behind you? Uh, is she still behind uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is going every which way. Oh, man. Yeah. I'd say this road is probably the worst part of this whole trip. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it is. I've never seen that empty like that. Wow, oh, that is something. See that log? Yeah. It's usually the water. That's the water usually? Yeah. Holy cow. That entire bay is dry. It isn't, you want it on? It's on. It is? Yeah. Oh. Swing. There we go. Yeah, right now we're at my son's camp, Greg's camp, on Shack Pond. Uh, we're going to spend the night here, and then this afternoon we're going to go look for some relics of old logging camps that were in the uh, in the area. <clears throat> we got a metal detector, and we're going to check things out. 
And then tomorrow we're going to put the canoe in the West Branch and head down towards Chisanko Village and do some more exploring. Look good? Everything look good? Yeah, looks wonderful. Great. All right. Want to head out? Sure. We're right now on what used to be called the Cordroy Road, which is a bunch of cedar trees laid side by side through this wet kind of a swampy area. And then they would spread a little bit of gravel over the top of it. Well, every spring, when the frost was going out, these, of course, these cedar sections of trees would push up. And it was like a roller coaster ride down <laughs> through here. You could walk faster than you could drive it. So now the, the logs are still underneath this road, but the road has uh, been really covered up by shale and uh, it's held up really well ever since. But when I first came up here this road was not here. They were in the process of, of making it but it, it was non-existent so we couldn't travel over it like we're doing today. All right Donnie made a wonderful supper. American chop suey. One of our favorite meals. Yep. Oh my God. How's it looking, Donnie? Oh my God, it looks like the best I've ever made. Yep, we got a big old salad, some bread. You got a big salad. But yeah, it didn't fit in my bowl, so I did the opposite. Yeah, I did the bowl of chop suey and a plate of salad. Uh. Good morning, we got a cool, brisk 39 degrees out here this morning. Fog has rolled in pretty good on the lake. Donnie's in there slaving away, cooking a really nice breakfast. I think we got some flapjacks and bacon and hot coffee and who, uh, who knows what else. He's, he's quite the camp cook. Today we're looking at getting on the river in the canoe and bringing a load down of gear and setting up the camp for the rest of the week. And hopefully getting down river, maybe even doing a little bit of fishing today. So I'm pretty excited about that. Might be able to see some moose today too if the fog lifts. From what I've heard, northern Maine's been incredibly dry and they've seen a drought. So most of the brooks and streams and rivers are, are really dry. Chizuncook Lake looked like it was down about 12 to 15 foot when we came through. Donnie looked at the river yesterday and thought that it was at it's regular level. So the river looks like it's flowing good. So we shouldn't have many problems there. We're, we're hoping we can make it all the way up into Chizuncook Lake and into Chizuncook Village. And But he said we might have a portage or we might not even be able to make it if it is low. <laughs> What's going on over here? We're cooking up some pancakes. We got some bacon all cooked. Good. They're coming good. They look lumpier than all hell. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so That's they... what fills you up. Nice. Isn't that sunrise something? This is the kind of stuff you have to put up with when you're up here in the North Main Woods. <laughs> stuff like this. It's pretty disgusting when you're trying to sleep in your bunk and the sun is waking you up. What's the plan for today? Well, well we're going to clean up at the camp here and then head down to the West Branch and Put the canoe and load up and try to get down through. It uh, 
Caribou Lake didn't look very, very promising because it sets low water, but uh, we drove by the river yesterday and it looked like it was up pretty good, so hopefully we can make it down through. That's the outhouse view. Not a bad view, Donnie. Huh? Not a bad view. No, it's nice. Beautiful. I pooped in worse places than that. Uh, any toilet that's got a view like that. No. Roads are pretty bumpy, ain't they? Oh, wicked. Jeez. They're rough. Well, a lot going on up here. Some vehicles. Yeah. Bird hunters, I guess, huh? Yeah. Maybe that first one might have been moose. Yeah. Hi, you good boy. You good boy. <laughs> you good dog. Hi. Oh, you wish I had some food for you. Where'd you come from, huh? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. Hey, you have man. a YouTube channel? Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have. You I'm do Joe. an awesome job, man. Oh, thank you. I'm Doug Stewart. Nice to meet fishing. you. You spent a week on That's all, yeah, oh. just ice fishing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the only one non-ice fishing wow. in the last two years. Mostly yeah. just uh, yeah. he, he fish and uh, document. Yeah, yeah, uh, nice. usually like week, 10 day, just so stay right on the ice. Cool. Yeah, we're going to yeah. do a little video. Here. We're doing a video. You guys want to be on it? <laughs> sure. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You're on it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I, I think I follow your channel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, real Fun. good stuff. What channel is it? Uh, Joe Holland Fishing. Yeah, yeah I'm oh, Joe. Okay. Nice. I'm Joe. Joe, nice yeah. to meet you. Good to meet John. you. John, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, Joe. This is Donnie. Owen. Owen, nice to meet nice you, Owen. Yeah. Yeah. Father, son, I take it? No, no, no might just... as well be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, one of, he's my one of my best friends. Yeah. Yeah. For years, he lives a mile from yeah. me in Jefferson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at these, huh? Mice? Yeah. White seems to be the... Yeah. The theme. The theme, yeah. That is awesome. Look okay, at those. Do you tie these? Most of them, not all. Not all. What are these? Uh, that's the caribou. That's the caribou special. So a good fly is I tie the uh, caribou marabou right there. <laughs> Little smelt imitation. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at these. They got tails on them. Yeah, that's a, something I've been experimenting with. I still haven't caught a lot of fish on them. That's like a smelt pattern. Eddie Raymond has yep. got pictures of him motoring over that bridge. Yeah. When the water was. Yeah, Jeez, I, I remember really inviting a couple. Can you imagine yeah. that? Yeah. 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 The old bridge. I, I, the old, I, I, old bridge. Right. right. This is built this up one they little. built yeah, up. Yeah, the well, but I've location. seen I've seen the water up to that. Yeah. I've really? Seen, I've seen this whole oh, yeah. parking lot yeah. underwater right. before. Yeah. Yeah. The outhouse. Yeah, it, it he, he actually yeah. floated up to the roof of the outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It floods. Great location for yeah, an outhouse. Yeah. It's automatically flushing. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's all flushing. Up. <laughs> it flushes <laughs> every spring. Once yeah. a year, flushes. <laughs> yeah. We'll probably see you on the river. You just going in for the day? No, we're staying oh, until oh. Uh, Monday. Uh, down on down Big Island? Yeah. yeah. No, we're going to we're going to camp out at Ragmouth. Oh, yeah. you're going to 
How that are you going to get in there? Campsite. I don't know. Oh, yeah. so you're going to float and then come out at like graveyard or? No, there's there's uh, a campsite called Rag Mountain. Yeah, we've. Oh yeah, there. we've been there That's before. We yeah. Great. We tried to. to get there yesterday, but it couldn't get up over pine pine enough. rips. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. We were coming from the other direction. Yeah. 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 It might be a little dicey getting down there. Yeah. Through the Foxhole Falls. But yeah. as long as you're ready to pull the canoe back up through the falls, you'll be all set. Yeah, yeah. We've done that before. <laughs> so yeah, how are you is... going to get back up? You're going to walk in? He's in the bow. In? That's why you <laughs> yeah. always bring a young guy with you. <laughs> you know, when you bring a young guy, he sits in the bow. If he has to get out, he, he's the one that gets out. I sit back. There. I guess I'm roping yeah, it. Yeah. You know. I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, you never want to come with two old guys. Con con. Yeah, <laughs> we've done that before. Waiters. That's a quiet motor. Yeah, four strokes. Yeah. Oh. Sips fuel. Nice. We'll burn a gallon all weekend. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. great. Take care. Yeah, you too. We're really doing it, Donnie. We're doing it. <laughs> Maybe we wish we hadn't, but we're doing it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the river looks like. It'll be interesting to see if that canoe floats with all our gear. And us. Whoa, that thing's loaded. It's sit sitting pretty good, though. I think it's on bottom. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got shotguns, axes, fly rods, cameras. He's sitting pretty level. Yeah. But, you know, we haven't got our weight in there yet. Yeah, ready when you are. We going up or down? Are we coming or going? Well, we don't have a lot of free board. No? <laughs> We could take two trips. Just don't move too quickly. Okay. Wow, we are crated. Is it dangerous? Well. This stretch, you'll probably see some big, bigger rocks. Okay. You want me just to holler? Yeah. Okay. Just tell me which side of the, you know, the boat they're on. Uh, okay. Which way to to make the bow go? What is it? It's a dime. It's not even old, is it? It's a dime.
What year? I can't. I can't. It doesn't look that old to me. <laughs> no, but it looks coffery. No, yeah. it isn't. There's there's Truman's. I guess that's Truman. Yeah, we just we just we it. discovered a a dime. What a random random spot. We just stopped wow. here, and I grabbed the metal detector and just turned it on because we're gonna go up in the woods where this old campsite is, and it just started beeping. We're like, no way. Wow, that's amazing. Well, I think it beeped twice over here. Let me. Yeah, it did. We're rich. Right here. Yeah. It's pretty sure there's something there. You moved it, whatever it was. Oh, I did. Yeah. You moved one of them. Here, I'll... You can pick up the stuff and just hold it right over the metal detector. It'll let you know. Oh. So it's in your hand now. If you it want, is. you could put it right on this rock, Donnie. There's nothing. Oh, was that your ring? Do you have a ring on? Yeah. Oh, probably. It likes something here. Right there, in that pile, you moved it. Right, oh, oh, it's sitting right there, right another there. one. What is it? We are gonna be rich. I think it's a, it might be a penny. Oh. You what? think this whole river's got money like that? <laughs> We are going to be so rich. This one's a penny. Oh. And not that old. All right, Donnie landed us on a camp that has long been overtaken by the woods and the earth. And there's a ton of metal in the woods. I got my metal detector, but there's no chance of finding. Uh, there's just too much stuff. Yeah, you can, you can hear it going off and it'll go off the whole way in, but I can show you what this camp used to look like and Donnie will be, tell us a little bit more about it because he saw it when it was standing, I think. What do you think, old boy? boy so we're pretty far down the river and he got us right to the spot and when I got out, we found those two coins right away, so. We're up to a we're up to 11 cents, so I almost got this metal detector paid for. All right, after that little excursion, we are gonna have a lunch and a little water. We're gonna finish up those meatloaf sandwiches from yesterday. If you've never had a meatloaf sandwich, boy, you're missing out. They are tremendous. It's been easy going, no wind. We hit one log on the river, that was about it. And Donnie thinks it might get shallower further up. It's definitely going to get shallower. Definitely. It's going to get shallower. So we'll see how far we can go. Well, we found our campsite. Yeah. Where we're gonna camp. And uh, geez, I don't know, how many miles was that? Quite a few miles, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know, four or five? Yeah, at least. Yeah. Quite a few miles, over, well over an hour. Right. No couple, moose, I was surprised. Yeah, no moose, a couple hours. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unload and get camp set up before we go on our next journey. Which, I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we brought a lot of stuff. Sure did. I think... We probably don't need half of it. No. I we're think... Not, we're not roughing it like the old timers. So we got one tent up. This is an old timer. Tried and true. Yeah, 
I don't know how many years I've had this. But... Yeah. And I'll show you guys what not to do if you're on a camping trip, unless you're a millennial or a newbie, is don't show up with it still in the original packaging, never opened before. Just pick that one up from L.L. Bean, and they ensured me that it's got everything in there I need, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, camp is all set up. We got Donnie's. Almost. Almost. We got to tap the, we got to tap the uh, picnic table. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, this is the new tent from L.L. Bean called the Adventure Dome 4. It's supposed to be for four people. I could see... You could definitely get four in here if you stacked them, but you're not getting four in with cots, but yeah, one, two, three, four, just on the ground or on uh, sleeping pads. You could get four in, it'd be pretty tight. But I'll give you guys a review of this tent after, after I use it for a week or, or more and maybe get some different weather conditions. I hate reviews when somebody takes it out of the package like I just did and tells you how great it is without ever using it. So you won't ever get that from me. Donnie's set up over here. You said you got this tent from Camp Moore? Camp Moore. Never heard of it. Which was a, a mail order outfit. I, God, I can't remember what state. I think it was Vermont. And uh, they also had, you know, just a retail store there too. And uh, that's where I got that probably 30, 30 years ago or more. And this was a four-person tent 30 years well, ago, right? Well, I think it, I think it's a, just a two-man tent. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no four people can get in that. Plenty of room, though, for one person and some gear. Yeah. Donnie and I went uh, moose antler hunting last winter in January, right? Mid-January? Yeah. Up yeah. in northern Maine, and he slept in that every night. I slept in my truck because I have a, a bed in there. And we would eat in that every morning and every night. And then... Uh, Worked out pretty well. Yeah, it was... I think it got as cold as 10. Yeah. 10 was the low, I think, at night. And it got as high as maybe 20. So we had a pretty good stretch. But he never was cold with a good good sleeping bag and up off the ground. Hey, we might get our fly rods ready. Nice. That sounds good to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. own a fly rod, but I yeah. borrowed one, so... <laughs> We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I'll tell you my only fly fishing story ever because I've only fly fished once in my life. I'll tell you that if you guys stay tuned. Got him. Oh, he jumped. He, he's jumping. Oh, he's jumping all over the place. <laughs> he's, not, he's 12 inches. Oh, he jumped again. <laughs> oh, he jumped again. <laughs> oh, should I lose him? I think... No, I still got him. I might have lost him. Or he's coming right at us. I think I lost him. No, he's still on. He's, he's going again. He's going for another jump. Oh, here he comes. See him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Look at that chap. Oh, oh, yeah, he's... He's peeling drag on me. <laughs> nice. Salmon, right? That's a salmon. Yeah. That's Ooh. a salmon. Nice one. All right, that's my first salmon on a fly rod. Yeah. Well, oh, he's gone. <laughs> that was awesome. Now he's just digging deep. Man, he's pulling. Oh, maybe you got to... Look at that. I ain't even moving him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you may have good fish. He is holding bottom, Donnie. Wow. He was right at the end of my cast. I got that fly out there. He might jump. Oh, he's pulling drag on me. Woo! Oh, yeah. What a jump. Yeah. What a jump. <laughs> he's pretty good size, huh? Yeah. He's right at the motor. All right, there we go. 
Jeez, he might even keep. Oh, he's about like the other one. Oh, was he? Yeah. It's weird this. It's weird he only jumped once. Well, he's got a hooked jaw. He's got a hook in his jaw, right? This straw. That's a, that's a decent fish. Yeah, he's over 15 inches. Jesus. What do you think of that one? Hook jaw. Yeah. Yeah, that's a male. Yeah, he's 16, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a decent fish. Well, just like that, the weather turned on us. We got one decent shower maybe an hour ago, and now she's pretty steady raining. And the temperature dropped quite a bit. It's not quite see your breath yet, so it's probably 41, 42 maybe. We're going to have potatoes, a vegetable. What kind of vegetable do you like? Potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any kind. And uh, pork tenderloin. Little touch and go getting in here today with some shallow water, and I know the river's fluctuating quite a bit, so to keep an eye on. The water and make sure we don't lose too much or uh if we gain it we can keep going down river further but if we lose a lot then we're gonna have to maybe think about picking up camp and going back up river because we'd end up having to leave all our gear and it's a long long walk out from here with no, with no trails so that's uh right where that stick is is right on the edge of the water and if it drops Below that, we know it's dropping, then we can kind of meter how much it drops each day. Oh, <laughs> one burner shot. Where should I put that one out here? Yeah, triple burner. Those are good, huh? You've got a heck of a nice kitchen set up over here. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm under the top, that's the main thing. Yeah. Gotta warm up these biscuits. Oh, beauty. Well, that's gonna do it for the second day out here. First day on the river. It is still raining pretty good. It was, was the most rain till tomorrow. So maybe this is just that rain coming in early and hopefully tomorrow's a nice clear day. Looks like the tent's pretty dry after, oh, probably three hours of rain, which is good. Another great day. Looking forward to an awesome day tomorrow. We've got some good camp coffee this morning, huh, well, It's good and black, yeah. It's gotta be rugged. Thought it stopped raining, but man, it didn't. It rained the entire night. My tent's dry, Donnie's tent's dry. So that's good, because it never stopped. And it's kind of slowed a little bit this morning. The canoe's got quite a pile of water in it. Wow, six inches in the back. Still raining a bit. Your tarp. Worked great, Donnie. Kept all our gear dry. Yeah. Oh, that's a good rig. We had a little fire last night, but with all that rain coming down, it's no fun sitting around the fire. So we used it to heat up some dishwater, and that was it. What's the plan for today? Uh, today, you know, we'll probably head out on the water and sure. and uh, do some exploring. It was a farm on the river here way back in logging times and they uh, housed the loggers and had some cattle there and raised a few crops of course the house is gone now they 
after the logging got over, they, they burn everything down, destroy it. And uh, so we'll just search around there and see if we can find any treasures. Did I ever tell you about this fry pan? I don't think so. It was made in Ohio. And it's a steel fry pan that I bought at L.L. L. Beans probably back in the 70s, I, I would guess. And my old fishing buddy Al had one. And of course, whatever Al had at that time, Donnie had to have. <laughs> so I, I bought one and made these handles for it. And it, it cooks bacon and cooks anything. Just wonderful. A great little pan. So LL had a good product. They sold a bunch of them. But like everything that LL ha seems to have, Anything good, they discontinue. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway. Well, Uncle Al was a, a guy that lived in Jefferson, and I, and I knew him when I was a little kid, but never knew him well. Just knew him. He was always hanging around doing stuff at the garage, and he was a pretty clever guy. He was one of these guys that could do anything if he put his mind to it, but a lot of times he didn't put his mind to it. <laughs> but... I got to know him when I was in high school. My cousin went with his daughter, and we became good friends and good fishing buddies, and he brought me up in this area for the first time when I was in high school. He was quite a little, quite a drinker. He, he liked his tea. Every morning he would wake up when we were up here on the trip. He'd make a cup of coffee, He'd put a little little liquor in it every morning just to wake me up. Depending on how cheap it was, is he'd always buy the cheapest stuff he could get for booze. He might have vodka one time, he might have bourbon another time. So he always had to wake me up, and he was always sipping during the day. But he never, <clears throat> except I, I did see him really plastered a couple times. But most of the time he was coherent and could function, and, but he was always sipping on it. But he was my mentor when it came to coming up in this area. He, he would come here at a drop of a hat. Uh, if I said today, this morning, let's go up to camp, he'd be ready in an hour. He was always willing to go. And he, he came with me. We came together his last venture up here he was 92 years old and he was getting hunched over but he still loved to come <clears throat> as he got older he did less fishing and more cribbage playing yeah. so we played a lot of cribbage and uh, he was a great friend and great guy loved him when he died <clears throat> or before he died he says I'm giving my body to for research. He died, of course, at 95, and uh, they sent his body away, and, and uh, I think for students that were studying anatomy or something, and they cut him up, and, and about two years later, I got a call and said, his ashes are ready. Should I send it to your address? And of course, yes. But he always wanted to be dumped over Hannibal's Cross and Bridge, which is crosses the West Branch. We we went underneath it coming down here. So <clears throat> his grandson and I brought his ashes up, threw them over the bridge. His grandson said a little something, and I said a little something, and and uh, I said, "Al, I'm not going to dump any any booze in this." river I'm afraid you'd come back to life <laughs> <laughs> so we had a chuckle about that uh oh let's check our stick for the water level yeah she went down an inch oh wow yeah she's down an inch overnight Donnie wow even with all that rain yeah what's wow. our what's our get out of town level oh we, six inches yeah we okay. seem to have plenty of Plenty of water coming down. I mean, we didn't hit 
Maybe a couple little rocks once in a while, but not much. Not nah. much. A couple love taps. Yeah, that's all. <clears throat> no, I've been up and down this river when there's been less water. Yeah? Yeah. And of course, I was always in the bow of the canoe. Al was in the back, and guess who had to get out and pull? Up that's, through the shallow that's places. That's why you brought me. The bow man. That's why I have a younger guy on the bow <laughs> to do all the work. Yeah. Got him. Oh, beauty. <laughs> he ate it up good. Wowzers, look at that. Look at that salmon. <laughs> he's well over 18. Oh, he's a beauty. Wowzers. Oh, no way. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome! We found either a blacksmith shop here or a metal dump. I don't know what it is, but it's just luck. No, he found an axe head. Woohoo! Oh, Donnie! God. Donnie! Oh my god! You believe it? I don't believe it. We've been talking about finding an axe head for years. Oh, what a jump. Tidal wave. Ha, 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 ha.